Good morning, children. Today, now we will discuss about exercise fourteen B question. Question number one is how many diagonals are there in pentagon? So pentagon means five sides, and the diagonal formula is n n minus three divided by two. So what I will do is five into five minus three divided by two. So five minus three is equal to two. 5 into 2 divided by 2 so here we can find it is a diagonal mcq question so number of sides is equal to 5 5 minus 3 divided by 2 that is equal to this so total number of diagonal is equal to 5 so we will op opt the option number 5 uh, uh, option a 5 uh, how many diagonals are there in hexagon similarly in hexagon six sides are there so we will write Six into six minus three divided by two, so this is equal to three into two. That is equal to six. So for the second question, the option is six. How many diagonals are there in octagon? Then eight into five divided by two. So this is twenty. How many diagonals are there in a polygon having twelve sides? Twelve into ten. Ah, uh, twelve into nine divided by two. So here uh, again we will two six uh, so nine six a uh, fifty four fifty four option. A polygon has twenty seven diagonals. How many sides does it have? Again, what you will do twenty seven into twenty four. That means three minus I have done then two two twelve. Uh. Now we have to multiply twenty seven into twelve. Twelve seven is eighty four. Eight carry twelve two is twenty four and thirty two. Three twenty four. Okay, sorry, I I have read the question wrong. A polygon has twenty seven diagonals. How many sides does it have? So diagonal is equal to n n minus three divided by two. So diagonal is being given twenty seven. This is n n minus three divided by two. Then it is fifty four is equal to n n minus three. It is n square minus three n is equal to fifty four, or it is n square minus three n minus fifty four is equal to zero. Now we have to solve it as a quadratic equation. For a quadratic equation, the number of uh, the sum uh, is equal to three uh, and the product equal to minus fifty four. So this is n square minus nine n plus six n minus fifty four is equal to zero, and here n n minus nine plus six n minus nine is equal to zero. N minus nine in one bracket and n plus six is equal to one bracket. So we will get n is equal to nine and n is equal to minus six. But the number of terms in a polygon can't be negative. This implies n is equal to nine. As you will write, number of sides can't be negative, right? Now come to the next question. Here it is the angle of a pentagon or x x plus twenty, x plus forty, x plus sixty, and x plus eighty. The smallest angle of the pentagon. So you have to find out first x, then you will find able to find out this. So the sum of uh, all angles of a pentagon is given by one uh, eighty into three because number of sides are five. So the sum of internal angles of a pentagon, internal angles of pentagon, how many? One eighty into five minus two, that is three. So this is equal to five forty. Now the sum of all the angles x x plus twenty, x plus forty, x plus sixty, x plus eighty is equal to five forty. So this is one two three four five five x, and then here you can find. So here x is equal to sixty eight. We will solve it and we will get. Similarly, the measure of each exterior angle of a regular polygon is forty degree. 
So let let the number of sides be n. That means forty into n is equal to three sixty degree because the sum of n angle is equal to three sixty degree. Always the exterior angle sum is sixty degree. So n is equal to three sixty by forty nine. N is equal to nine. My next question. Uh, each interior angle of a polygon is one hundred eight degree. How many sides does it have? Same same type of thing we will be do discussing. It is number of sides um, is given by n minus. It is n minus two. Sorry, n minus two into one eighty degree is sum of the internal angles of a polygon. And how many uh, are there? Each interior angle of a Polygon is one hundred eight into n. Now we will find this value. So this is one eighty n minus three sixty is equal to one hundred eight n. One eighty n minus one hundred eight n is equal to three sixty. So here it is seventy two n is equal to three sixty. n is equal to 360 by 7 272 so this is 72 fives are you can say 5 to the 10 36 yes so n is equal to 5 question number 8 now question number 9 each interior angle of a polygon is 135 how many sides does it have Interior angle of a polygon is one thirty five. How many sides does it have? Again, the same procedure. Uh, n minus two into one eighty degree is equal to one thirty five into n. And then again, one eighty n minus three sixty is equal to one thirty five n. One eighty n minus one thirty five n is equal to three sixty. So this is forty five n is equal to three sixty. N is equal to three sixty by forty five. Nine fives are nine fours are five eights. So number of sides is equal to eight. Okay. Now the next question. In a regular polygon, each interior angle is thrice its interior angle. Now here a little bit different question is there. Uh, question number ten. If each interior, if the interior angle is x, you can say if interior angle is x, exterior angle is equal to how much? Three x. I I have done wrong, children. It is x is thrice the exterior angle. X is exterior angle and internal angle. I have to just write it opposite. Exterior angle is equal to x and internal angle is thrice the exterior angle. The number of sides of the polygon. So what we have to do is. Three x plus x is equal to one eighty degree. Four x because this always make a straight line. If say for example this is there, this is exterior angle and this is interior. If this is x and this is three x, this always makes a straight line. So four x is equal to one eighty degree. X is equal to one eighty by four. Four four just sixteen four five sir. So x is equal to forty five. But here x is equal to forty five is the internal angle and inter uh, external angle is equal to one thirty five. You will be multiplying forty five into three, and now we have to find the number of sides. The number of sides is equal to external angle sum divided by each external angle one thirty five. It is um, five to the ten. Five sevens are thirty-five. Five sevens are thirty-five. Five twos are nine eights are nine threes are twenty-seven. Eight by three. Just a second. I have done some. Yes. Sorry, children. Uh, it is exterior angle is x. It is not one thirty-five. Forty-five. We have to divide. So this is three sixty divided by forty-five. Nine fives are. 
नाइन फोर सा फाइव एट सा सो द नंबर ऑफ साइट्स इज इक्वल टू एट फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन द आंसर इज एट नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन से इज ईच इंटीरियर एंगल ऑफ अ रेगुलर डेगा डेका गॉन रेगुलर डेका गॉन मीन्स इच इज इक्वल टू टेन now uh, if you have to find this first you can find the exterior angle also that is 360 divided by 10 so 36 each exterior angle is equal to 36 so each interior angle this can this can be the shortcut or you can direct apply the formula each interior angle is equal to 180 minus 36 so this is 144 this is the one method or you can try n minus 2 into 180 degree divided by this is the sum of internal angles divided by n is equal to how much each decagon angle is <coughs> is uh, so 10 and 10 because the number of sides is being given now we can find out 8 into 180 divided by 10 Two four sa two, अच्छा eight and eight. This is ten. I what I am doing ten. Two four sa, two five sa, and two four sa. Five three sa fifteen thirty six. So here it is four into thirty six. Four six sa twenty four two, one forty four. so either or by the external angle method also you can apply or by the internal angle method also you can apply the same now the next question is hmm, the next question is the sum of all internal angles of a hexagon is so hexagon means six sides the so six sides sum how may, how much 180 into n minus 2 yani 6 minus 2 that is equal to 4 so uh, we have to tell how many right angles so we just divide it like 9 into 2 into 4 So ninety ninety into eight. So how many right angles are there? Eight right angles. Yes. Now come to question number thirteen. The sum of all internal angles of a regular polygon is one thousand eighty. What is the measure of each of its internal angle? So the now the sum of the polygon is being given. The each internal angle we have to find. Again, we can do this by two different methods. As one is given in the book, and the other uh, see what how I am doing. Question number uh, this is thirty. Uh, It says that the sum of internal angles of a polygon is one zero. So let the number of sides be n. So let the number of sides be. n we don't know the value of n so we will say that let the number of sides be n so the formula is 180 into n minus 2 is equal to 1080 so we can find from here value of n 1080 divided by 180 this is 80 eights 92 and 91 sir yes It is six, I think. Nine two za nine one za eight nine two za. Yes, it is six. So n is equal to six plus two eight. So the number of sides becomes eight. Now what we have to find out what is the measure of each of its interior angle. So a uh, total number of sum is one zero eight zero. So the each angle measurement is each angle is equal to. One zero eight zero divided by eight. Eight. One's a eight. Two eight. Eight three's a twenty four. Eight five's a. So each angle is equal to one thirty five because the sum of all angle is equal to that one zero eight zero. This is the one way. And what else you can find? Let the number of uh, sides be n. So each interior angle. Is equal to one zero eight zero divided by eight n. So exterior angle is equal to how much? Exterior angle is equal to one eighty minus interior angle one zero eight zero by n. So uh, it is. Uh, we can find three sixty by n ma is equal to one eighty minus one zero eight zero by n. Now we can solve this formula again. We will get. n is equal to 8 not
okay directly we can get the value and in question number 14 what we have to do is the interior angle Question number 14 is quite equal. Just as it is being written, the sum of the two sides is equal to 108. The sum of internal angle and external angle is equal to 108. So it is x plus x plus 108 is equal to 180 degree. So 2x is equal to 180 minus 108. This is equal to 72. x is equal to 36. So this is x is equal to this is the external angle the number of sides is equal to 360 divided by external angle that is equal to 10 so we will get the 10 sides so this is how we solve all the question thank you children